We're Ashley and Jordan. Since May of 2019, we've been traveling the globe full time on a mission to keep going places. After exploring Switzerland by train, we have arrived in country number 24, Slovenia. Good morning, internet friends. It is our second full day here in our 24th country of Slovenia, and we are in the city of Ljubljana, or as I like to affectionately call it, Lub Lub, because I didn't know how to pronounce it for the longest. And yesterday we took the day off, so don't worry, you didn't miss a thing. And today we're gonna get out there on a rainy day and just tough out the weather to explore this gorgeous city. So to get here though, we thought we should show y'all the most gorgeous train ride. It was a crazy travel day with delays, diversions, cancellations that ended up with the train company having to buy us a taxi to where we were going because it got so messed up. But the main portion of it was by far the most beautiful train ride we've ever had. So roll that beautiful B-roll footage and we will see y'all outside. So far away, though you're close. Where's your mind that I wanna know? A penny for your thoughts. I wanna know what's inside that heart of yours. Ooh, I feel paper thin. After a really lovely stroll by the river, we walked quickly past the Dragon's Bridge, which we're gonna go check out later, but we took a funicular up to the top of the hill to see Ljubljana Castle. The tickets were 13 euro per person, which included the funicular ride. I think if you wanna walk up the hill, you can, and you'll, it'll be like 10 euro or something for entry. Anyway, we've just gotten here, so we don't really know what to expect yet, except that we're gonna learn a little bit of Slovenian history. they have like north south east and west marked on the floor which made me think and realize as i'm looking around how killer would sunset be up here i don't think they open early enough for sunrise but there's nothing taller than this up here you would have the most gorgeous unobstructed view a little froggy today but you know on a clear day man date night idea you're welcome
So as Ashley mentioned, the views at the top of the lookout tower at the castle are probably the best views top down that you're gonna get of all of the old city here in Ljubljana. You can also see all the main attractions, which we're gonna hit up later today, like the triple bridge, the main square, the river all through the old town, central market, and even the parks out in the distance. It's such a good opportunity to just get a good view of the city, I highly recommend it. So inside the castle, they also have a virtual castle show where you can learn all about the history of this whole region, the castle itself, how it transformed over the thousands of years on this hill from various civilizations. That's really neat. So definitely check that out if you're here. It'll give you a good educational overview of the whole area and the castle. There's also these little like prison cells that we went through, which the castle was once transformed into that for, I guess, a few decades. And there was also a cute and actually beautiful small little chapel inside the castle. And while we were in there, there was this guy doing calligraphy art. And we got a couple of little souvenirs made, bookmarks, and another deal for New Year's Eve. Okay, so we just came back down the funicular and ended our time here at Ljubljana Castle. I wanted to mention just a couple of things. First, you can totally get up there and not pay any money. If you don't want to see the exhibitions, you just want to walk around, see the view a bit. You can't go up into the tower and that kind of thing. You do have to pay to get in there. But I just thought it was worth mentioning that you can walk up if you want to take the walking path and just kind of enjoy it. There's restaurants, there's a jazz club, which I'm sure is open in the evenings. So that's totally an option if you want to just skip spending money altogether. We really enjoyed it. It is a rainy, dreary day, so that, you know, makes everything kind of gray, but we think it was totally worth it. The funicular ride is fun, everything's beautiful. The view from the tower, I think, might have been my favorite part, and if you're interested in the history of Slovenia, Yugoslavia, and on and on and on, there's tons of that to be had. So, a good time, all in all, and now, lunch. I'm hungry. So we are back outside after a quick little lunch. We went to the organic garden, which is mostly like vegan burgers. I don't think it was our favorite, but it filled us up and that's yeah. great and it wasn't very expensive. So what are we up to now? Now we are near the central market here in Ljubljana mm -hmm. and it's, it's a rainy, dreary day. So it's not very active or busy. There are some local uh, produce farmers and vegetable farmers and everything, which stands out. Um, also, there's a building here by one of the famous architects from Slovenia that's part of the Central Market. So we're just kind of looking at that. We're going to head over to the Dragon Bridge next, which is a popular bridge just to go see some statues of dragons. And then we'll make our way to continue exploring the Old Town. Although it is a really rainy day, we're just really just... <coughs> we're... <laughs> we're just gonna embrace it and take it in. I think we were really prepared after our three weeks in the UK. Mm -hmm. yeah. So we're gonna... <laughs> I suppose, if you wanna call it that. <laughs> so we're gonna get out and about. I think today it's supposed to rain all day and tomorrow as well, which we're supposed to go to Lake Blake tomorrow in the rain. Okay, so we made it to 
to what's called the triple bridge because it is literally a three-way bridge or three parts. The middle is for cars and the two sides are pedestrian bridges and they kind of go out in a V formation or a W formation maybe since there's three. It's really charming, very pretty, and it feels like kind of the center of the city. There's a lot of action, a lot of shops, beautiful architecture, and they're setting up a big old Christmas tree which is very exciting. So it's really pretty. Just across the triple bridge is the main square here in the Old Town called Pressman Square. And it's actually really nice. You can see everything in the Old Town from around here. Like Ashley said, they're setting up the main Christmas tree in preparation for the Christmas markets. But I think that's gonna wrap up our time here in the Old Town. We're gonna head back to our cozy little Airbnb and plan our day for Lake Sled tomorrow. We were just taking a stroll down the very charming streets of Ljubljana and we spotted a chocolate shop and as luck would have it, we finished our last bit of dark chocolate last night, so naturally we gotta get some. So we ended up going with the dark chocolate with sea salt, which is this shop's signature chocolate. So we got to taste a little bit and it was really yummy. So now we're set for a few more days.